Welcome back to What You're Cooking Fast Forward. You broke my vegetable, man. <laughs> I, oh, I did? Look, it's all. <laughs> <laughs> this is seaweed, right? <laughs> no? yeah. We'll find out what it is later. All right. So uh, we have had collaboration over the last few episodes because you were busy. Yeah, I've been away a little bit. Um, oh, really? Uh, well, you know, like out and oh, about. Okay, okay. I thought you were yeah, I've been you here. Uh, yeah, might be a bit rusty in the kitchen today. I haven't cooked in, in, a, in a few weeks. Yeah, but still yeah. fast forward. So let's put you into the action. What's the yeah. theme for today? Frying pan. Everything in a pan. <coughs> Frying pan style. Yeah. Just the way we like it. Make yeah. Some sound. One. Enjoy some great meals. One savory. One sweet. I thought I'd make you some cookies today. Oh, that's really sweet. Mm. I like cookies. I've been promising you some cookies for a little while. Yeah, and yeah. you know, I've been training you because the next person coming up gives me a little bit of stress when I stand beside him. Oh, really? Yeah. You feel a little bit well, stressed out? Of course, I've oh. seen in the last round on Zoom on episode 24. If you catched it, if you missed it, go back, catch it again. Oh, <laughs> this will be the only guest we've had on the show twice. Of course, producer's choice. Oh. So we're going to bring on this gentleman, <laughs> if you've seen him in Zoom. Uh, he's swimming all the way down, up the training, right down to the uh, you know, Sports Singapore. Yeah. And this is none other than national swimmer, Pang Sun Jin. Hey, Pang. Hey, guys. <laughs> I, I was so nervous, I almost couldn't say Sports Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you're almost the same height. Yeah. Almost. Maybe, maybe I might be a bit shorter. Almost, almost not. <laughs> Don't talk about this topic. <laughs> He's better looking in person, eh, than on screen. Fantastic. Do you think? Really? Yeah. You know, he looks so much better. <laughs> 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 I cannot say that, lah. <laughs> uh, look at that glow on his skin. You know, all the light bouncing off. So no he's a natural. Thing. But can he cook? We'll find <laughs> out. I don't know. Now, hopefully, though. hopefully, under <laughs> Rico's guidance, hopefully he can cook. But but Sanjin, uh, you know, you've uh, been with us on episode twenty-four. Have you tried the recipe? That, uh, Rico, <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's <not that>. <laughs> <laughs> you called him out. Too hard. <laughs> I mean, it looks so hard to make. So I can't remember what we made now. Uh, yeah, so what was it? Look back to that. Yeah, yeah. So, like, um, yeah, mm. today's physically gonna try uh, Rico's, Rico's recipe. So excited for that. Yeah. I'm just curious, you know, when, when you're, you're talking about training, you just came from training this morning, right? What time yeah. do you actually start? Uh, we start at 7.30 now, so we actually split into two groups. The okay. guys that are going to school start at 5.30, oh. and for us, we start at 7.30, so slightly more sleep now. Yeah. 5.30 a.m.? Yeah, that's for the school-going guys So now. you used to have 5.30 training slot? Uh, yes. Oh, so, so now you get a bit, a bit luckier, la, yeah. 7.30, two hours. <laughs> Extra two hours, yeah. And then how's training like recently? Yeah, so we are slowly moving back to 9 to 10 sessions a week in time to come. Ah, so getting all prepared, which is why he has to be down to learn more recipes to get him all beefed up. Gotta feel <laughs> the swimming. So what's <laughs> the theme for today? Uh, sweet, savory, yeah. and what's the last one? Smooth. Oh, not like his skin? <laughs> <laughs> you look at me and say smooth, I don't get you. That works though, I thought we'd throw a smoothie in at the end. A little, a little ABC, but different to what? The mm. traditional ABC would mm. suggest. Okay, well, so we'll, we'll reveal that later. So I'm just curious. Yeah. Have you been cooking regularly? Or yeah, ever since the circuit breaker period, I've, I have been cooking a lot at home. So yeah. it's mostly steak. I've discussed all my diets with Rico. Oh. So we did try to adjust a few things here and there, but it's mostly like steaks, vegetables, and a uh, cup sauce. It could be I like can, potatoes. Like he yeah. lost weight, it seems. He's pretty like clean eating. Oh, leaner. Yeah. Look glowing <laughs> after you get out of the house. So, what are we going to do now at this stage? Do you know what's yeah. this on the table? Um, it's broken. Spring leaf. <laughs> half point, half point. <laughs> um, Almost there. Almost there. I, I don't know. I only got spring leaf. Spring leaf is a prata. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you smell it, see if it gives oh, you a clue. It might get you a real hunch. Um. Very focused. Mm. Taking yeah. it very seriously. Yes. Can you eat it? <laughs> Spring yeah. onion? Yeah. All right. Good <laughs> I got it. So you, <laughs> so Lucky you, I got it. So you got it. You That's look at the leaf, nice. Spring leaf. <laughs> <laughs> onion. All right. Um, what, so first thing first, wash hands. Oh, yes. Right? Let's do it. Yeah. Right. And then I'll get the engine powered up here. Mm. All right. Safe distance and uh, yeah. making sure our hands are clean. Yeah. Uh, what's the first step? First thing, we've got to open a can. That's sweet corn. Yeah. That's the same colour as your shirt. Yeah, I'm <laughs> the corny guy. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right and we just tip that in there. So we're going to make some sweet corn fritters. 
So what's the name of this dish? Sweet corn fritters. Sweet oh, wow. corn fritters. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's, um, I it's, asked after you told me. It's not tradi- I w- I'm introducing this to Singapore because it's not really traditional here in Singapore. Mm. But it's so delicious. Mm. Really nice savory um, treat. Beautiful. I mean, beautiful oh. by itself. It's a vegetarian mm. dish. You can serve it with bacon. You can have it with smoked salmon as well. Today we're going to do it with... Um, some avocado, some creamy avocado, wow. and some cream fresh. So I'm gonna feel yeah. some sweetness, some creaminess. Yeah. That's gonna be a little bit of thickness in the. the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Of it's beautiful with eggs too. So traditionally, it's a breakfast dish. The recipe is so <laughs> easy: one can of cream rice, mm. one this is what? one cup of flour. Oh, flour. Right. So you just yeah. tip that in there. Oh, that looks easy. Yeah. Mm. And then we're gonna go one teaspoon of baking powder. Oh, this baking powder. Yeah. So just one, one, one teaspoon, teaspoon of that. That's easy. Yep. So you About this much? That looks great. Okay. Yeah. So this one go home, you will try it. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. Watch off screen and you felt the last one was not. One pinch. One pinch. Of salt. Okay. Big pinch. Just your finger. Big one. Yeah. Yeah. And just drizzle a little. Yeah. yeah. All right. Fun flavored sweet corn. Fantastic. <laughs> And then we just want a good grind of pepper. Okay. Yeah, uh, this is really nice with pepper. How much pepper yeah. do we put in actually? Oh, 10 or 12 or? twists is great. Oh, okay. Yeah. Beautiful. So there you go. All right. Nice. Light flaming flavor yep. out for you. And now just um, mix, it mix it all okay. together. And then after that. And then after that, we're going to crack a, um, we're going to crack an egg in. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got, I got the phobia. Mike, can I, Trina, can I throw it again? No. Oh, what happened the last time you cracked oh, an egg? Oh, uh, he gave me a surprise. <laughs> I broke two eggs after that over the episodes, you know? He managed to catch it with his forehead. Oh, and, <laughs> oh wow. and then it went all over the ground. Yep. Look, that's starting to come together really nicely, and it's nice and soft, and it's battery and bready. It's looking really good. And so then it's like a pancake. Yeah, it's kind of like a pancake. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And then um, we just crack an egg in there, Punk. Okay. Yeah. That's All it. Right. And, then, and just give that a stir in as well. Oh, like yeah, you can. In. Yeah. Give that a stir in as well with the fork. That Look. looks easy. So do we need to heat up the pan now uh, with the olive oil? Yeah, you got it. All right, well, so you've done this before. Gonna, <laughs> I've done eh? it for 38 episodes. Have you cooked with me before, <laughs> Ben? <laughs> okay, let's heat it up first so that we can save yeah. some time. Mid temperature? Mid temperature. We don't want to burn it. Right, um, yeah. It's better to be a little low than a little high. Is it too much? Yeah, that's good. All right. Yeah. The egg makes it a lot smoother. Yes. Yeah, it smooths it up. It helps it puff up a little bit. It just Use gives it a little bit of richness and fat through the yeah. yolk. Consistency. Yeah. That's so right. you can see this is, I mean, we've made it already, really. Yes. You know, so it's so quick to do for breakfast. So how many does it serve? Oh, it'll make you probably around about 10 to 12 little um, patties? fritters, oh, patties, oh. pancakes, mm. however we want to say. Yeah. So, um, oh, I, can, I, can, I keep smelling the sweet corn. It's and nice, it's isn't it? It's making me hungry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you know what? We, we, should <laughs> we need to put the broken um, spring uh, onion in there. Oh yeah? yeah. And slice it up. Slice it up a little bit. So, how much or how little, depending on how. how it doesn't how really matter. Yeah. Like, right? mm. Just drizzle it in. Yeah, just oh, put okay, that in there. That, uh, aromatic. And it, it gives it a little bit of color mm. as well. Yeah, you can <laughs> do this with uh, courgette, zucchini. Oh. You, yeah, you can do that. Also, oh, we can play yep. around. Uh, yeah. I was thinking I can put it like carrots inside. Or something yeah, like that. There's no rules really. Yeah, you could do it with a little bit of pumpkin as well. Mm, and I think that you can grate. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. All right. So now we just get a tablespoon, right? We'll just mm. use that one. Okay. Um, and just plop like little tablespoon dollops of uh, the batter. Yeah. This but much? Yeah, that oh, looks yeah. good. Okay. Yeah, just stop. Make it one small it in. Yeah. circle. That looks That's like it. a fish. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a fish. Yeah. Get <laughs> a fish out of the water. Give it a little eye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and some gills. And a tail. <laughs> because missing all this action, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's really been too long. Are sweet corns healthy? Or? Yeah, it's actually yeah. a whole grain. It's mm. a really good source of carbohydrate energy for you. Mm. And so it's, it's a whole it's food. I mean, I, I always got sweet corn out of a can. La. Can you make your own yeah. sweet corn? You can, well, it grows on it. Yeah, you can grow it. And then you just um, take it off the Great plant tip. and you uh, husk it. Oh. Then you have to cook it first. This has already been kind of cooked for us, I guess, mm. in the can. So it's actually... Yeah. Uh, That's it, Bung. Convenient, actually. That would be good. And so and we just do it in batches. Dish, you look yeah. at it. 
No, it's very cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that one's sliding around. That's nice, isn't it? And let's take a look at how it looks like bubbly. It looks like fritters, actually. Yeah. yeah. And that is the original <laughs> batter. <laughs> and oh. back. Oh, yes. <laughs> no yes feel oh, it's your turn. Last time it was me. <laughs> <laughs> with the salt. Now it's you with the baking powder. Right, right. we're going to put the lid um, on. Mm. Let me wash my hands. <laughs> and we let that just pause for a minute. Hey Rico, is it yeah. true that sweet corns don't digest in your body? That's what I heard. Or it does actually digest. Oh, so yeah. sometimes like the whole, if you don't chew them up, mm -hmm. sometimes they'll go through whole because it's quite um, fibrous as well. Mm. Yeah. But these have all been kind of milled and mashed for us. That's mm. why it's called creamy corn. Oh. Yeah. Mm. So oh, actually okay. it will um, it will just absorb really nice. Whoa. All right. It smells really nice. Eh? So I need to flip it. Yeah, so th these have been in for a couple of minutes, and you can see they're going a little bubbly, and they're getting quite kind of firm on the top. This looks like yeah. one my grandma used to cook. Yeah, this <laughs> is a really um, old old school recipe. Yeah, yeah very mm. much so. All right, yeah, so much you, easier. You yeah. got it. And help only came with the last piece. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rico, so are there any other ways to cook this, actually, besides pan frying? You mean like steam it? Um, no, generally it's done on a griddle or a, or a pan. Oh, if I use an yeah. air fryer? Could what? do, probably. If you've got a really non-stick pan, you don't even need to add oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just... We just I, like, I kind of like the olive oil inside because it adds the additional oh, yeah, uh, yeah, fragrance yeah. to it. Mm -hmm. And olive oil, like we always say, is a healthy type of choice. How you lose that when you flip it? Mm. Yeah. So it's nice brown, golden So brown. they've held together really oh. nicely. Okay, and and like you can see the green in there. Look, it's just yeah. peeking really nice. through. He's flipping with just one yeah. knife. <laughs> yeah. The skills. It's training. <laughs> yeah. But don't worry. You're like fish out of the water right now. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. We'll get yeah. there someday. <laughs> so guys, that's done. Look, done. <coughs> I'm wow. ready. Do we, do we eat it with any sauce? Yeah, we do. Let, oh me, let me treat you here. Oh, uh, let oh, me get a plate. Give me a sauce today. <laughs> okay. Oh, sour cream or? Cream fresh. fresh. Oh, cream fresh. Yeah. Wow, Ben. Skills. Oh! <laughs> Never compliment a Singaporean, <laughs> you know? Because when you say skills, you fly off, but don't worry, like, our tables are all nicely wiped and clean. So okay, well, I was going to put one, right one or two nicely, and, and mm. uh, you've dumped it all on there. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah I know you're going to plate it. I, I just can't wait to cook a second batch, because mm. I think it's going to taste damn good. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah sure. it will taste good. And Pang, you know, with, with uh, training resuming, mm. how's it like when you are in the water right now. Have you missed going back to the pool? Yeah, I remember my first session that I dived in the pool, I could really hear the sound of the water again. You know, you're out of the pool for so many months. Yeah. And then when you your first dive in, you could just hear like the water the group, running group, through group, your group. face, running through your ears. Like, it's, yeah, just start to hear the water again. I think that was one of the most amazing feelings I've wow. felt like post-Circuit Breaker. It's so. like, it makes you even uh, uh, appreciate your spot even Yeah, more. yeah, yeah. And it reignites that passion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a nice feeling. Mm -hmm. Cream. First day. Oh, is that cream fresh? Cream fresh. And avocado. Some avocado. Oh, wow. Ah, look at Ooh. that one. All right. Now, this is mm. yours. Thanks, man. <laughs> the smallest one. I'm looking after you, bro. Mm. You are. <laughs> I'm going to have some cream fresh as well. Well, Rico, where do you get this from? Oh, you just get oh, that from the cam. I'm curious too. Is that yeah. avocado? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sell it for us, Pang. Yeah. Looks so yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> this it. looks so good. Yeah. It has lemon inside as well. It does. So this lemon is, uh, helps it preserve. It stops it going brown. Mm. Gives it a nice little tangy taste. Uh -huh. there's, there's two whole avocados in there. Yeah. Um, avocados here in Singapore are not generally very cheap anyway. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I just buy it like that and it keeps in my fridge. Because you know when you open an avocado and it goes brown, half of it? Yeah, and this yeah. is like it's already pureed and mashed for me. Yeah. It's really easy to use. Yeah, and it's mm -hmm. just yeah, just available in the supermarkets here. It's good. Oh. It's really easy to use. It's it's already pureed for you. So that's what we're talking about here on fast forward. You don't have to have, you know go hands on in every single ingredient. There are a lot of no. available items that's off the shelf that's easily, uh, you know, fusible with the ingredients. Yeah, it's just a nice little shortcut, isn't it? It's very mm. convenient. We're lucky in that way. Correct. Yeah. Um, so there we are, guys. I want you to try this while it's hot. Done already, long. <laughs> Looks a bit like wasabi. <laughs> so you can yeah. <laughs> These are not nice cold, really. So, um, so there you are. You oh, could have that with a fried egg if you want. Oh, yeah, uh, but give that a little go and dun, see what dun, you think. Dun. Was that easy for you? 
Uh, I mean, you guys did most of the job. I just mixed everything, so... You didn't do anything, actually. You poured everything in the bowl. <laughs> That's how simple it is. Isn't it? You guys prepped the ingredients. But it looks so nice yeah, and, uh, and it tastes really good. Yeah, oh, actually, you know what? I think you should have a little extra pepper. Oh, wow. I would like some extra yeah. pepper too. Mm, mm. For the additional touch. There you go. Oh, really nice. That looks good now. I'm going to just smear the cream and the give avocado. It, give it a little try. It looks really nice. Are you guys eating as well? All right, let's yeah. eat together. Let's eat together. One, two, three. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Mm. You like that? Wow. Mm. Mm, really nice. <laughs> it's better than pancakes. Mm. That was a genuine mm. mm yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I find pancakes really boring, you know? Yeah. Without the syrup mm. or anything. But yeah. this one, the sweetness, yeah. yeah. There's texture. The crunchiness yeah. of the corn really yeah. brings yeah. in the flavor. There's some nice yeah. contrast involved, yeah. isn't it's there? It's a little bit mushier than I thought. Mushier? Yeah, there's a texture yeah. to it that's soft. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 It's certainly not dry. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And you really guys should nice. try it. Try making it. Yeah. <laughs> and we will be back right after the break with recipe number two. And of course, stay tuned with us because this is where you get to see Pang in action in his speedos. <laughs> I only wear speedos if Rico wears speedos, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Welcome back, back to. <laughs> That's how you, is that how you sound when you talk underwater? More or less, yeah. <laughs> Was that what you're cooking underwater? Yeah. <laughs> 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 did I enjoy, you know, Pang in action? I hope you did because uh, 
you know, he's training up for you know competitions to come. Any any other coming mm. uh, competitions that are going to be tentatively a part of? in December. We're trying to yeah hold like SSA is trying to get one done in December. So hopefully it goes through. Yeah, oh. with everything that's going on now. What's up next? Oh, it's cocky time. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Lucky you. He promised me for more than thirty episodes. Wow. For me, you know? I love sweets. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Rico. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so that, it's sweets with a twist, healthy twist, right? Okay. But I think you're gonna like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So banana bread cookies, really easy, whole food. You know, mm -hmm. and today because Punk is here, I dressed up to look swag, and this is the first time Doctor Biko has accessories to glam himself. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I put my contacts in my eyes yeah. before I lift my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, but uh, let's dive into the recipe. All right, let's Pang, do it. Have you made cookies before? Um, no, but my, my mom and sisters have, I just enjoy the treats every time. So it's exciting if I could yeah, make some yeah. myself today. Give yeah. them a <laughs> present. Good stuff. Wow. Yeah. Well, it starts with a banana. All right. All right. Is that your favorite? Uh, yeah, I have bananas like before every training session. Like Happy Rico days. Says, yeah, it's good carbs, right? Before yeah. yeah, very training. good. Yeah. Is it yeah. true that if you eat bananas, there's a yeah, lesser potential to cramp up? Potassium. Mm. Yeah. And also the carbohydrate helps the muscle. Oh, mm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like fast digesting carbs, so Very you won't easy. feel full like yeah. that too after, oh, right? So Pung is yeah. really familiar with uh, bananas. So we're going to mash it now <laughs> with a fork, yeah. Pung. Oh, with a fork. I don't know if you've ever done that. We want it nice yeah. and mushy. Okay. All right. Yeah, sure. so mm. keep keep mashing it down. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Come on, Pung. Come on. <laughs> In the water. Come on. Is one banana enough? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. It's like, yeah. So how many cookies can we make from... Oh, bananas? this will probably make about eight. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, eight good ones. One banana. Yeah. These, these, these are awesome... Um, for school lunches, mm. for adult lunches, uh, before and after training as well. Mm. Yeah. Let's say if I want this as a pre-training snack, could I yep. add more bananas inside just for the cup yep. content? Could. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. But then you would add a, a little bit more of everything else as well to get okay. the ratios right. So okay. if you can yeah. add half a banana, then you add about 50% yeah. more of everything. Yeah. And another banana, then you double up. Well, the ratio is so one banana to one cup of oats. Mm -hmm. So these mm -hmm. are just Quaker oats. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ready cooked instant ones. Okay. Mm. And so one banana to one cup. System, right? Yeah. So this is real slow burn energy. Mm. Yeah. And this is acting as like our flour, like flour in a cookie. We're using oh. oats, which is healthier. Mm -hmm. So are we, yeah. are, we, are we like baking this or? We're going to fry it. You can you mm. can bake them in the oven, mm -hmm. um, but we're just going to do it on the stovetop because not everybody has an oven at home, right? It's true. Not everyone has it's an oven in Singapore. Small houses in Singapore, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? They might have a toaster. Mm. Yeah. We need to add a little more moisture to this. Yeah. Right? So I've got um, just like, it's like baby food, like just some apple oh, sauce. Okay. Right? So all they've done is cooked some apple, added some vitamin C, mm. Mm. <laughs> mashed it up and put it in here. Mm. Yeah. No preservatives at all? No. Oh, okay. Apples mm. and vitamin C. So the vitamin C preserves the apple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yep. okay. right. So you and don't that, need any it. further preservatives. So the shelf lives of yeah. such items are usually shorter. So just get one of these um, out of the baby aisle mm -hmm. at the supermarket. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, we put good things into babies and we kind of forget about our health as we get older, don't we? But <laughs> oh, so yeah. you stick to the baby food and you'll be right. Mm. Yeah. So you, so now that'll that'll start really And that's really what mixing. fast forward was fast forward is all about, right? You know, mm. making sure that you save time and yes. there are really quite easy ways where you can get items off the shelf yeah. so that you know it saves a lot of cutting time. Imagine having to puree the apple, yeah, yeah. cut this mm. and add the vitamins. We're not peeling stuff. the apples today. Yeah. No. Mm. Yeah. All right, so what okay. is this? This is a little bit of vanilla powder. You could use a little bit of um <laughs> oh no! Big spoon. Uh, oh no! <laughs> you, you can use a little bit of vanilla essence mm. if you want as well. Mm -hmm. Round about. So that's just mm. to give it. Round uh, about a teaspoon, bit of mm. vanilla flavor. flavor. Yeah, that's is, nice. Is this considered healthy or? Yeah, this is fine. We're not okay. using much of it either, but it's just a little bit of vanilla flavor. Okay. Mm. Yeah, and then a little bit of cinnamon, which is really good. Vanilla beans good are hard for health. to get in yeah. Singapore. Yeah. You know? mm. Around about a teaspoon. Mm. What's cinnamon right. good for? Cinnamon purportedly is good for stable blood sugar levels. Oh. Yeah. Let's just go some mm. some sun-made raisins. Mm -hmm. Okay, pop quiz. Uh-huh. First one to answer gets an extra cookie. Uh-huh. <laughs> Name the fruit that a raisin comes from. Come. I'll give you a chance first. <laughs> well, that I don't know. <laughs> How do they make raisins? Grape. Yes. Grape? Oh, okay. okay. Wow. Well, I didn't yeah. know that. I didn't know Almost that. Almost said prune though. So <laughs> I heard the... Yeah. yeah. So, um, mm. so raisins, mm -hmm. right? Now we don't need to measure these out. Around about a third of a cup, um, a good handful. 
For raisins, what are they? Have a good source of carbs or? Oh yeah, and antioxidants. Oh, oh okay. So okay. if you think about grapes, like um, people drink red wine, they eat grapes. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. The resveratrol in the grape skin, yeah. very good for heart health. Um, and it's all in the grape as well. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. uh, all in the raisin. Mm. Everything yeah. packed yeah. within a single mm. slice of cookie. My what are these? Yeah. <laughs> what are these? <laughs> eh? My favorite chips. So yeah. these are just some chocolate oh. chips, right? So just oh. a, a good handful. Oh, now I can imagine the texture when you bite into it. That's yeah. that uh, yeah. light greenness. Yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah. yeah. That's really nicely done there. Mm. And that's everything in the pot. That's raisins wow. and grape. Oats, really nice, and that is pang in action. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So All right. now we just turn our pan on. So, at this stage, if you were going to use an oven, mm -hmm. you would just take a tablespoon and you would just put tablespoon dollops on an oven tray. Okay. And put it in the oven for around about 25, 30 minutes at 180 degrees. Mm -hmm. But we're going to twist it a little bit and do it in frying pan. So we're going to olive oil again? No, we're going to use a little butter this time. Okay. Because butter and cookies. Oh, you made it sound mm. yeah. yeah. But not very much. Okay. Um, but it just seems to really help the flavor a little bit. I mean, butter. Yeah. Some people say butter is good for something, but I can't remember what it's good for. Oh, a little for. butter won't hurt you. Like, mm. it, yeah, it's just a little bit of, mm. little bit of saturated fat. And it's medium yeah. heat for this one? Yeah, not okay. too hot. Yeah, because okay. you'll end up burning the butter. Mm. You'll burn the cookies too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. All right. Now, Pung, do you just mm. want to put in there for me? Okay. Um, just much? yeah, some nice dollops. Okay. Yep. You can make bigger ones actually. You can use. Uh, mm. There like you mine go. Is gonna be Do I flatten it? Or yeah, like, like a little flat. Yeah, that's just you nice. Can just like that. Shape. Oh, okay. you know, Perfect. You want to make a rocket? You can feel free to do yeah. that. <laughs> Smells really good. Yeah. And you and said these are healthy cookies, right? Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, so we d we haven't added any sugar, have yeah, we? Haven't. No, nah, oh, wow. we didn't actually put any fat in there, yeah. other than the um chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. But Rico, you said like chocolates is like a good source of like um, like dark chocolates are good actually for your health. What is it good for? Dark chocolate, yeah, yeah full yeah. of antioxidants. Oh, yeah. And one study actually with athletes found that they ran further for longer when mm. they ate four pieces of chocolate a day for a week. Really? Oh. Because it actually mm. dilated their blood good. vessels ah. and they got more oxygen to their muscle. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, so dark chocolate, 70% cocoa or higher. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually eat that regularly for your heart health. Yeah. Oh, wow. Now, with dark chocolate, then, is it an aphrodisiac? Um, I think we still need to run a clinical trial on that. Okay, yeah. I'll eat it for one week I'll and let you know. We'll let you know when we're, <laughs> when we're signing up. <laughs> It'll be an N equals one trial. So, if yeah. you really want to be healthy, yeah, you fine. can buy like a dark chocolate bar, and we'll break it into more. pieces, cool. and drop it into your cookie. Yeah. That should help. Uh, that's if you have time to spare. Yeah. But if not, you can always buy, you know, this uh, ready made chocolate chips. Yeah, they look like that. Now, Ben, Ben, if Ben was making this, he'd go a really big fat one. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. we, so that's your one, man. Because yes, I've been promising one. you mm. a big cookie for, for long, the longest time. Thirty something over here for episodes <laughs> that I make you a big fat cookie. So there you go. Just starting to cook nice. Yeah. Oh, it smells really good. Yep. So yeah. it's only on a medium heat. We can cover it now, okay. and that'll act like a little oven. We turn okay. this in. This has just become an oven, right? Uh. And, uh, and and we can we can just leave that for maybe three minutes, oh, that's really right? Nice. Yeah, and then we're gonna flip them like okay. we did with the fritters. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and then we're gonna woo, we're gonna enjoy it with a bit Fresh of jam. Oh, out of the pan. Can you imagine yeah. that we really get a chance to eat cookies that are freshly out of the oven? Oh yeah. yeah, these are best eaten warm oh. and fresh. Yeah. yeah. And then mm. if, if it's me, I will have it with a vanilla scoop of ice cream. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Can I tease you? Look. Wow, it smells really nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Oh. You can really take in the flavors. Yeah. <laughs> no, Pang, you were with us on the Zoom episode the last season, which yeah. is our first 24 episodes, the mm -hmm. last one. Mm -hmm. And now that you are here on, on, you know, in the actual kitchen itself, you know, how, how do you feel about the changes that has come about and what are some of the things you want to say to the people that are watching the program? Mm, I think I'm really grateful that we are able to at least go out now, get back to somewhat our normal lives. So um, yeah, just, just really happy to be able to hang out with you guys physically now and really try the food. So the previous time when I was watching over Zoom, I, I wish I could try some of it. So <laughs> right now, like, watch me eat. <laughs> yeah. Bang. It was a bit cruel, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, so right now it's like I'm so happy to just be able to be out and be here and yeah, just spend time with family and friends out. Yeah, that's You know, really the nice. unique thing yeah. is when you're watching it, even though the recipes are really simple, you actually find that it's hard, right? But today mm. coming down, going hands-on mm. uh, and watching it in person, mm. you know, 
<laughs> Did it change your perception? Yeah, it's actually really manageable. Like I had no idea, and like you guys use ingredients where you can buy off the shelf, like the baby baby food, the yeah. baby section shelf. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I think that really saves a lot of time because for me as an athlete, like um, I try to always eat as fast as I can, and then get get to get to sleep, and then prepare yeah. for my next training session. Yeah. So yeah. this is a pretty quick way to really just get as much recovery as I can in and. Prepare for prepare better for my next session. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the reality, isn't it? That people are very time poor. They're always in a rush. Yeah. yeah. And Hacking you know, we, we need to make the the healthy choice the easy choice, mm. right? Mm. To really win. Mm. Yeah. To win the war. Actually, so Rico, speaking of which, yeah. for these foods like that, right? Yep. Like, could I prepare it the night before and then pack it and then yes. bring, like put it in my training bag or something and I just snack on it? Or Absolutely. These will yeah. last for you know three or four days okay. now oh, in the yeah, fridge. Yeah. Yeah, mm. um, they just get a little bit hard and chewy over time. Like the yeah. best eaten fresh, okay, or rewarm it up. So or you, you have a nice hot, hot cup of milk and you just dip. You it. could do that into <laughs> Milo, yeah, 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 or um, or you just heat it up in the microwave for ten seconds. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. But we've done a lot of yeah. uh, recipes over the last episode, like Bruce that you can bring along with you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, different types of chocolate bars, even. Mm. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, these are all easy ways to ensure that yeah. you get your sweet treats, but still have it at the best. Uh, mm -hmm. Health level yeah. to manage. Ben, are you gonna make like twenty of these and bring it home? <laughs> I am going to make everything. <laughs> but I don't think we have enough, leh. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. We have enough for one more. Mm -hmm. Just egg. one just more big one. Just yeah. give them all a little bit of a kiss with the with mm. the butter. Oh, it smells really good. Yeah, and that just helps with the flavor. I'm gonna imagine a slightly crunch, chewy kind of texture. Because oats are a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. They look like genuine cookies, don't they? Yeah, they do. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, with the chocolate chips, yeah. Wait, so Rico, if you leave it on for longer, it'll be crispier, right? Yeah. Okay, I might yeah. leave mine on for like... You don't want to burn it, like you yeah. don't want it to be charcoal. But you just want to have that crunch. Yeah. yeah. Like, do you oh, like so you like hard cookies? Yeah, do you like crispy or... I like crispy oh, cookies. I'm, I'm the famous Amos guy. <laughs> yeah, what about you, Rico? Uh, you like I, I like them a little softer. Oh, yeah. he's a Subway guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. But these, so these won't be crunchy. I tell you that now. Okay. Yeah, they'll, because we've got mashed banana in there. We've okay. got soft oats, and then we've got apple sauce in there. Mm. Yeah. So that's yeah. why we wanted the outer crunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Softness inside. So actually, this will create that because we're we're kind of caramelizing the outside oh. on the pan. Like you can see, like yeah. you know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit caramelized mm. and crispy there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But we don't want to rush it. Good things take time. So we yeah. Just massage it there. And let's look at the grand reveal now. Bam, bam, bam. Oh. Oh, wow. And if we... Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I'm going to get a big See, look, see oh. the nice... So that'll, mm. get, that'll be a little bit crunchy now. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. It looks a little bit like a patty. Though. Yeah, I want to say a beef right. patty. Right? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> it looks like something I placed between my burgers. <laughs> well, we have done it in a frying pan. I'm wondering if I use the patty. Two cookies, mm -hmm. and I have it in the middle with uh, lettuce, avocado, tomatoes, lettuce. yeah. <laughs> and then you add a little bit of honey, <laughs> and a bit more fruits so like strawberries, and it just yeah, it's like a fruit burger, sweet and savory, well, a fruit cookie burger. The proof is in the pudding, isn't it? Yeah. Eh? Yes. Mm. Ben, do you want the big one? Yeah, uh, what do you want? The, or you want a small one? I want a small one. You okay. don't want a big one, Ben? Because I want to feel the crunch. Oh. Yeah. I'm thinking that it will be crunchy. This one's mm -hmm. crunchy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Pang, you like the crunch? Yeah, yeah. This one, this one as well, I think. All right. Nice and crunchy. Cool. Yeah. Okay, you got. Oh, we got some good chocolate oh, chip action there. Wow. Now. Rico, um, where's yours? Are you gonna? The Coup de Grace. Mm. Oh, my. Oh, smells really good. <laughs> Any one for you, Rico? These are mine. Oh, all right. <laughs> Rico's gonna have three. Now I'm gonna give you a little treat today. I'm oh. gonna. Get, this is a little bit of mascarpone cream. Oh. Mascarpone. Yeah. It's from, a pony with mascara. From New Zealand, <laughs> actually. Oh. Yeah, this is a traditional Italian cream, mm. right? So you just think of like oh, scones really nice. and cream. Wow, is Let's it like sweet or, or like? No, it's not sweet. Oh, okay, mascara pony. Oh, I've never tried. So this. you cannot yeah. remember. Just remember a pony that puts on mascara. Oh, mas oh yeah, that's that's a good one. Mascara pony. And a little bit of jam, mm. a little bit of strawberry jam, because that just seems to work. Oh, Rico, this is like fine dining in a right? restaurant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and. And this will cost you like fifteen dollars. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna totally love it. There you are, oh, Pang. Thanks, Rico. Right. Thanks, um, I'm gonna just use my hands. You can use your hands, good. Oh wow. All right. Ooh. Rico, so have one of us. Yeah, I'm gonna have yeah. one of these ones. It's a little bit more. Uh, Am I allowed a cr bit of you cream? You can see that the texture inside. Oh. Really nice. Mm. I'm gonna put I my cream. How Pang is gonna enjoy his one. Wow. I'm gonna like Pang dive in first. Wow. We we I'm let's let's eat together. I'm gonna put yeah, my gonna cream on top. Yeah. 
with loads of mascarpone, <laughs> and then I'm gonna have it with. All right, we ready? Ready? Chi One, two. Mmm. Mm. Woo! Oh, I like mm. the banana flavor. Mm. It's all happening, isn't it? Mm. And the chocolate, the mm. banana. Wow. The oats. Wow. The oats really taste fragrant, isn't it? Mm. 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 But oh, a little bit of crunch, soft in the middle. Yeah. Mm. I was actually aromatic from the cinnamon. Wow. I like yeah. it. Yeah. How about it's you, bro? So, yeah, it's so good. Wow. It's like you like a healthy that? cookie. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And then there's like the. It's straight it's out of the pan. Chocolate. Like, yeah. Mm. It's, it's still quite hot. Mm. Oh, it's quite hot. But what I'm saying is it's really good when it's hot. Yeah. yeah. You like it with the cream? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I, mm. love it. <laughs> I love it. Mm. So it can be done in the oven. We did a little different in the pan. Mm. Give you that little chocolate chip patty mm. kind of pancake mm. vibe. Um, but yeah, really good for the school lunches. Mm. You know, so we had sweet. Let's go. Mm. And savory. Mm. And um, we will be back right after break with recipe number three because I want to enjoy my cookies, so we'll see you later. <laughs> we'll see you later. And welcome back to Watch Your Cooking Fast Forward. Again, we have Pang, our national swimmer in the house, a bright, sunny, sunshine smiles. And of course, you know, Pang, we had fantabulous cookies. Fantabulous. Yeah, we so had good. a, you know, really tasty uh, mm. fritter uh, mm -hmm. at the start. And now we're going to end off with our recipe number three, mm. which is... It's an ABC smoothie. ABC mm. smoothie? Yeah. Uh, ABC. ABC. Apple, beetroot, carrot. Cabbage. Carrot, oh, okay. carrot, 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 carrot. Apple, beer, carrot. We don't have apples and we don't have carrots. Huh? Mm. Mm. So what, why, why is it called ABC? What else could A be? Uh, mm, okay, that's like maybe, I, I'm cheating a bit, but acai. So acai? Yeah. It's not acai, meh? 
<laughs> Achai. Achai, all the way from the Amazon. Constable mm. Achai. Achai. <laughs> Achai. Achai. <laughs> Achai. Yeah. B, B is beetroot. Beetroot. And so we just have a little beetroot powder. Yeah. Yeah. And I can't figure C out if it's not carrot and um, what this? other. This one. This? Creatine. C. <laughs> <laughs> Such a big color. <laughs> yeah. C. Um, yeah, you try. Oh, sorry. Wait, it's familiar. Can, can you um, work that out? I think you've had it before. Oh, coffee. Cherry. Huh? Cherry. Not coffee, man. Cherry. It's not vinegar this time. Yeah. I'm, damn, I'm really scared. Here's your good yeah. medicine, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do you, do you make it tart cherry. Yeah, tart Ooh. cherry. Why do you make it look like it tastes so good? Oh, it, it, it's, <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> I, I love it. Uh, it I love Rico, it too. Yeah, in, Rico yeah. introduced it to us. It's actually good for sleep. Full of uh, natural melatonin, tryptophan, and a really powerful antioxidant, anthocyanin, which dials down inflammation. Really good for guys like him that get sore from training all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I've been taking it for quite like some time, especially during competitions, and it has helped me wind down and sleep better. Really? Yeah. So you yeah. actually feel the, the effect? Oh, yeah. I, need, I need this one. Yeah. I have not slept for five days. <laughs> look at my hair. But I still look so fresh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. so Always fresh, Ben. <laughs> uh, where do we get this? Tart cherry. You can just buy it in the supermarket. So it comes you can get an organic tart cherry, yeah. Just, yeah and it comes and in a bottle. how much do you drink per night? One cup? Um, about 250 ml. Yeah. That's what Around about that much. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. I should start drinking yeah. that. Let yeah. me try it. So we just put uh, put that in as the base of our smoothie. Okay. It looks right. like plum juice actually. Mm. Yeah. We have our beetroot. Mm -hmm. Beetroot powder. Right. Is that? That's a clean one. Yeah. 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 All right. So a tablespoon of this is equivalent to two beetroot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, really? oh really? Yeah, this is pretty powerful stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, so like but you can just you could, yeah you could use actually you could cook beetroot, cube it and freeze it. Mm. Yeah, and that would go in there really nice as well. Wow. Yeah, and then we have our organic acai. You wow. can just get this in the supermarket here. Too. Yes. You can get everything in Singapore. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, that's why oh. it makes it nice to be in Singapore. Right? So yeah, usu yeah, yeah, usually yeah. this is frozen, and they would use it in an acai bowl. Yeah, and they would oh. sprinkle the nuts and the seeds and the dried fruits mm -hmm. over. But um, got we got just lots of that in the fridge. Yeah, in the past. yeah, we have used it before. Mm. Yeah, okay, that's it. Oh wow, that was easy. Right. Yeah. Well, moment when it said C, I thought it was coffee. Oh yeah, because oh. Rico loves coffee, right? Yeah, I yeah, yeah. love coffee. Mm. So it's an A B yeah. C. Mm. <laughs> Coffee's a good guess, though. Yeah. Should we punch it? Yeah. Let's go. Oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> How then is this a smoothie? Huh? Is this a smoothie? Yeah. It's like a little smoothie shot. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, nice and thick. Yeah. It's thickened up. So, so for this one, Just your recommended serving is... After? So you, you could add more water. Um, to make a full glass, but this is or just some like ice. It's just like, yeah, you could use ice too. Could I add ice, like, like yogurt or ice cream. Could also mm. do that. Oh yeah. So it's like a like Vanilla a ice cream. it's like a juice <laughs> really, isn't it? Like a yeah. juice shooter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the color is really quite unique if you look at mm. it in the camera. There you are, Pa. Oh, That's really good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank it's you it's like brownish duck. So it's a little a little health elixir, yeah. a little juice shooter, really nice to pop back in the morning. It smells like oh. chocolate. Just really? to get your day going. A little yeah. bit. They might yeah. be coming from the earthy vibes of the beetroot, yeah. perhaps. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers to this one. Cheers. All right. For Cheers. December <laughs> and a better tomorrow. <laughs> to infinity and beyond. <laughs> Li live long and prosper. Really good. It's pretty smooth, isn't it? Yeah. What? It's all gone. Oh, I like so it. So you like cherry now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't. It has that nice beetroot mm. taste, but it's not so earthy like a raw beetroot. No, it's not too overwhelming, like is it? it? Mm. Yeah. I mean, you know how I react to drinks that I don't like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no. this is that went down quite well. Wow. Yeah. But and just imagine fresh. the goodness on the inside now. Yeah. yeah. Your body, your liver, your heart, your brain, and mm. we're going, woo! I, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling mm. like a whoosh. <laughs> like when I go into the water, whoosh. He doesn't need to sleep for another five days now. Mm. He's, he's done. He's, <laughs> he's strong. He's fired up now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a really easy drink to down. Yeah. 
Pang, we are really happy to have you on board on this episode. Thank you for flying out the Zoom TV and you know, coming into our program. You are the producer's choice of the yeah. year. <laughs> yeah, happy to be here. As in, the food was really amazing, and yeah, I, I learned some new recipes that I could use for my training season. So really happy, and yeah, thank you, Rico. Thank you, Ben. Thanks, no, thank Pang. Uh, yeah. With your coming competitions, and you know, with the uh, you know Singaporeans that are watching our program, or you know, all our viewers out there. Uh, anything you want to share with you? Any positive message, especially when it comes to staying healthy, staying fit, and looking mm. forward to the future? It's more of like just being grateful that we're able to go out every day. Um, perspectives is, uh, perspective is the most important thing, right? So for me, I just, even though a lot of things have changed now, but I'm just happy that, you know, I, I have a happy family. I can meet with you guys today, mm. meet with friends. So, yeah, just being positive and staying happy. I think that's the main thing that I'm trying, like I am learning and I've learned for this year, so I hope that you guys can really stay fit and healthy and happy as well. Yeah. Good so messages. Yeah. Get yeah. out of the hectic routine, enjoy life, enjoy the present and be happy. Ah, yeah. yeah. Don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> be <laughs> Alright, and of course, uh, that's all we have for Watch Your Cooking Fast Forward. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode to come. Once again, let's end off with the fast Forward, hit side. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to What You're Cooking Fast Forward. You broke my vegetable, man. <laughs> I, oh, I did? Look, it's all. <laughs> <laughs> it's a seaweed, right? You know? We'll yeah. find out what it is later. All right.